what's up youtube what's up world welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel um it is day number three three of the um of the vlogmas so got a lot in store for you What's up YouTube, what's up world, it's your boy Marky Mark back with another video Just trying something here, a little setup It's a far cry from my first video Where I was talking about 10 things to know before moving to the Virgin Islands um, <laughs> I have my little mic now, a remote mic and everything hooked up And I have extra lighting And having a remote mic helps me to pick up much clearer amid the background noise So this is just a test to see how this is going to come out Alright ladies and gentlemen, so after that short test we are back Yes, yeah, so it is day three of Vlogmas. It's December 3rd, 2021. And um, I didn't get to do a video today. I have a problem <laughs> with my, um, some dental issues. So I had a very bad headache. I got some medication, everything like that. And the medication basically knocked me out. Um, so moving on and talking about Vlogmas, of course, for those who don't know, Vlogmas is wherein I'll be actually doing a one video a day for the next 25 days well not 25 days 25 less three right now so 22 days i'm going to be talking about things regarding the holidays and so forth um i'm going to be sharing like what i'm hoping to do many of you guys might have seen that i put a post on facebook asking um about who who is here local on st thomas who actually makes the coquito drink um, I don't know if I might do a competition even in that because everybody wanted to say that the person that they recommended is the best person for doing coquito drinks and so forth. But um, for those who are wondering, watching this video and even wondering what coquito is, coquito is a drink similar to eggnog, but is the eggnog for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, okay? Um, Puerto Rico is right over there in the distance. I don't know if you can see it, the mountain range you're seeing behind this range right here for St. Thomas is actually going to be um, Calebra and behind it on a clear, clear day or a clear evening would be Puerto Rico. So um, Puerto Ricans make Coquito is the bomb. You know what I mean? They have it in different flavors. Everybody adding their little different ingredients and so forth to snazz it up and so forth. And so I've selected one person who I'll be featuring in making the Coquito and then also um, kind of like bigging them up here on the channel so that's one of the things i'll be doing on my one of my videos um for vlogmas i was trying to get to go to st croix for the weekend because they have some festival going on over there i put the name of the festival on the bottom of the screen but like a lot of events going on right now i'm gonna try and separate you by class system which is basically a class system and say if you ain't got the vaccine that you can't go so um yeah so i wouldn't be going to that event so therefore i didn't travel to st croix because i would have been over there now showcasing um some of the events that are taking place there also is supposed to be a christmas tree lighting tonight i think it's over on st croix i'd have been trying to be part of that but and that would have been on my vlog for today but of course it's not going to be on there i might showcase some of it um on the vlog tomorrow night okay um moving on also for some of y'all well most of y'all wouldn't know but it's kind of been a sad year for me because coming up well a uh, sad holiday season for me this is going to be the first um season um that i don't have to celebrate it with my dad um, my dad passed away earlier um just a couple of months ago um two months ago and um one of my memories, fondest memories, I don't currently, um, because of religious reasons and so forth, I don't um, celebrate Christmas uh, because I did find out that, yes, it is a pagan holiday. I've been hearing the rumors all the way through and I did my research and found out that it is a pagan holiday. So I don't celebrate it anymore. But one of my fondest memories of Christmas was going to down to um, Emancipation Garden during the um, Christmas day on christmas day actually we used to with our youth group from our church we used to go caroling we used to jump in the church bus and go caroling to the different members of the church houses on christmas eve night first of all we used to have a party and like gift exchange at the church 
on um, December 20, well, it would have been like, yeah, on December 24th, the, the Friday night before, or the night before, sorry, cause that would have been Christmas Eve. So on Christmas Eve night, we used to have a little party at the church for the youth group and do a gift exchange. And then um, we used to go out around, I think 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock um, with the church bus and travel to different church members' houses and do caroling and so forth. Majority of us who were members of the church group were also singers and um, we used to also sing in the choir. So that used to be fun. And then in the morning now, um, my dad was actually a pastor of a church, um, Trinity Baptist Church, incidentally, in Bolonga Bay. We used to meet up at, um, at Emancipation Garden first thing in the morning after a long, a long night of caroling and so forth, going from house to house and then eating too. Um, we used to actually meet up in, in Emancipation Garden for what was called the Clash of the Carols or something like that. And then um, WSDA still features it and I think WTJX also features it on Christmas morning. But that used to be one of my fondest memories. My dad used to meet us there. He used to be taking part in I think the Salvation Army Choir and like two or three other choirs that used to be singing Nung Tung and so forth. And it used to be a very fun time. I'm going to check to see if I have footage of that from last last um christmas when we went down but i still used to go down um every 25th with my i used to take my dad down because he stopped driving about five years ago but i used to take my dad down the previous years and so forth just so he could be there and sing with some of the choirs as well um and it used to be a wonderful time Time. So that's one of my fondest memories on this vlog. I'm just basically sharing one of my fondest memories um, of um, the holiday times and so forth um, here in the islands. So I would like if you can also go ahead and share your fondest memories of being home for the holidays and what you used to do um, coming up here living in the Virgin Islands.